right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Rebound Project. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this one, we're covering the sequel to the 2006 game, Just Gone, Just Gone 2. So, um, as far as the development of the game and everything is concerned, Just Cause 2 is a 2010, if I'm not mistaken, um, action adventure game developed by Adeline Studios and distributed by Square Enix and is a direct sequel to the first game, Just Cause. Um, the whole game actually received pretty positive reviews since the first one was quite popular as well, and the second one is just continuing up with the, how should we call it, with the amazingness and the popularity that it received. So, as far as the story goes, you're still playing as Rico Rodriguez, a operative of the fictional agency in Panam. Um, your mission in the second game is to overthrow the dictator um, and confront your former mentor. So that's pretty much, I mean, that's all I'm going to tell you about the story, because I don't want to spoil it too much. It's a great story. It has a lot of things to do. The whole game um, is, how should we call it, huge. Um, it's a really big game with a great open world discovery um, with a big open world map, actually. You can do a lot of stuff um, throughout the game. It's pretty much, the whole point is you fighting hostile militants with guns and a grappling hook um, to give you a, um, how should we call it, a new style of combat with the grappling hook and the guns combining into one and pretty much going, uh, going in a new direction, which was amazing for the time when it was released and it was Kind of really cool to play. Um, there are a ton of things that you need to do uh, throughout the game. If you're not if you're not just going for the story and everything, you can collect stuff, you can destroy things, pretty much anything. Um, but the new thing that was introduced in the game, in the second part, is the chaos system. Um, the chaos system is pretty much the, the the point of it is just for you to complete positions and destroy government property for chaos points. And these points are pretty much essential to the progression of your story. Um, the whole game was pretty much developed um, as an improvement of the first game, in which the team saw the missed opportunities um, to, and they analyzed it and refined it, which is pretty much Amazing. This is something that game developers should be focusing on. Um, especially in some newer games, I've been noticing that even if a second part comes out, there are still things missing that we could have had in the first part of the game, and they didn't improve them in the second part. But this was this was one of the games, just as it was one of the games that actually did that like super properly, and pretty much made the the game, the first part, even better with the release of the second part. Um, the, the game actually supports some DLCs, which were released later on, um, and even a multiplayer fan project that was made and eventually approved by the, by the developers as an add-on. So after the game's release, um, you can actually, well, nowadays, um, you can actually play it in a multiplayer mode, which makes it even more fun. Um, with their friends and everything, going around the huge map, the swing stuff, doing missions, and everything. Um, after that, it took them, I think it took them five years, um, until Just Cause 3 was released in 2015, but that is a story for, a, for another time. So, as far as the gameplay goes, as you can see, it's a third-person action-adventure game, um, with a lot of shooting, grappling, doing the some really cool stuff around the map, destroying a ton of stuff, big ass explosions, and it's a game pretty much packed with action and explosions. Um, you have your own free will to do whatever you want, actually. You can just go around the map, explore it, uh, blow up stuff, or progress with the story. You're gonna have to blow up stuff sooner or later because of the chaos points, um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. So 
Um, I'm, I'm going to recommend this game to all of you guys who love open world games. It's an amazing game, um, an amazing third person shooter open world in which you can do a ton of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's going to be all from my side for this one. Um, in the meantime guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the video, and join me in the next review.